Again, if you've driven in Cave Creek over the last month or so, then you've probably seen this, this massive compound being worked on there. It is a massive home, believe it or not, with some incredible features that you would never expect to be in a house. For the longest time, I thought that was your house. <laughs> oh, I'm not? Yeah, I'm not saying. All right. <laughs> William Pitts went out to Cave Creek today to check out how big that house is and also what's inside. Construction on this building has been going on for at least two years, with people asking the town of Cave Creek what it was. They thought it might be a resort, an Airbnb. Some even thought it might be a cult. Turns out it's just one house, one house bigger than the White House. It's hard to see the whole thing from pretty much anywhere. The house itself is massive. It peeks through the trees north of Cave Creek. You can see glimpses of it here and there. But from the air, you can see how big this thing really is. It's like a shopping mall, connected buildings spread out everywhere. The construction entrance is guarded like a military base. The main entrance has a hardware store full of locks. It's apparently called Blue Sky Preserve, but it's not a nature preserve, although it is big enough. According to the county assessor's website, this lot is at least 160 acres. That's big enough to fit all of State Farm Stadium and all the parking lots around it inside that lot. So what is it? According to some town council minutes, the town manager told the council it's just a single family house, a very, very big house. We dug deeper. Eventually, we found the architect for the place, or at least one version of it. Here are the specs, 60,000 square feet total. The main house, 14,000. A 24 car garage with 14,000 square foot business center. 5,000 square foot arcade, 6,500 square foot spa and gym, an equestrian center, tennis courts, polo field, and helipad. It has four lakes that we can see, and those are concerning some residents. They're worried about their wells going dry. We're still investigating where all that water's coming from. So who owns this house? We don't know. It's registered to a Delaware corporation, and in Delaware, you don't have to say who owns the company. But whoever it is could afford the original $15 million sale price and the untold millions it's costing to build all this. In Cave Creek, William Pitts, 12 News.